The DNA binding protein CTCF is usually considered a tumor suppressor. After all, keeping DNA properly organized in the nucleus is an important job. But now, researchers in Hong Kong have discovered that CTCF can contribute to cancer, driving tumor growth and spread in hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, a common form of liver cancer. The team first evaluated CTCF levels in normal tissues and found that while the protein is expressed in many organs, it's hardly, if at all, present in the liver. In multiple liver cancer cell lines and HCC clinical samples, though, CTCF was much more abundant, having more of the protein correlated with a shorter period of disease-free survival in patients, suggesting CTCF plays a role in HCC progression. To find out how CTCF might promote cancer, the researchers used RNA interference to knock down expression in multiple cell lines. This silencing slowed cell growth. In cell lines without functioning P53, cells underwent apoptosis. With P53, they fell into senescence, suggesting a possible function in telomere maintenance. To find other ways CTCF might be working, the team looked at changes in gene expression. In particular, they noticed that depletion of CTCF in a cell line greatly reduced expression of FOXM1, a protein previously linked to tumor formation and metastasis in a variety of cancers. When the team checked the HCC patient's tumors, they found high levels of FOXM1 and the amount correlated with how much CTCF was present. And in CTCF-depleted cells, which had largely stopped migrating and invading, adding FOXM1 back in restored those abilities. Finally, the group used two separate tumor implantation models to test the role of CTCF in vivo. They found that reducing CTCF levels in tumors could prevent growth and spread. The results suggest that in some cases of hepatocellular carcinoma, CTCF plays an important role, working in part by turning up FOXM1. It's possible that targeting CTCF will be an effective therapy. Other future work may reveal other ways that CTCF contributes to cancer and whether its overexpression is involved in other types of tumours.